don't think he cares is, about the clothes. Is Santa yeah. Claus coming? Yeah, you like Christmas time. You know all about it, right? You're gonna get lights and everything's gonna be Santa Claus and snowflakes and green and red and Christmas tree, peppermint. Mm -hmm. Sarah's gonna come home and Dan Thomas is gonna come home. Everybody's gonna be together. And you're not gonna be wearing a paper gown, I promise. Yeah. Everybody, fire feel good on your feet. Yeah, you guys love your daddy. You love your daddy, honey. Oh, he needs a bath. Hi, Henry. Holly needs a bath, and Henry needs a bath too. Yeah. Just can't see it on Henry. Hi, sweetie. Kiss. Thank you. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I love you, yes, All you need is Theo. <laughs> He's over there. I'd be afraid Theo would jump on the wood stove again and hurt himself. Our date, yeah. Our date morning. There you go. What did we do today? We went to CVS. We didn't get our flu shot yet. No. We got to go do that. Yeah. And then um, before we all get the flu and it's too late, we're having coffee. I'm having a peppermint mocha. He's having a regular coffee. Regular coffee. I'm a regular kind of guy. You want to go out to lunch? I'm hungry. I don't know. So we had a nice little chit chat in there, having our coffee. It's um. Oops, hold on. I gotta turn that down. So we just went out running errands. You know, this morning I was not feeling that great. I had like this incredible headache. So I'm actually surprisingly upbeat now. But we were just talking. Actually, I was pretty cool because I went into Starbucks and somebody somebody recognized me from my social media stuff and I thought that was pretty nice and she wanted to buy our coffees you never know who you touch in life right she said she had a nephew who is two years old who has um, less less encephaly and something something to that degree and degree something kind of rare like Daniel has but similar that was nice we went to the hardware store we went to the bank we were gonna get a flu shot at CVS, but they didn't take our insurance, so we need to go to the walk-in. But now we're gonna get some lunch and just go relax, I think. Oh, we have to fix our dryer because our dryer's leaking water. Yep, I think it's clogged because I had a blanket made of down that exploded one day into the dryer and then like feathers were everywhere. I think it's probably full of feathers. And while I Googled it, why would your dryer leak water? Because it seems like- well, We're gonna try like, to clean it first. Kind of a weird thing. So you may need a whole new one. So we have those pieces, but if sometimes if your we dryer can, needs to be cleaned, if we can fix it, we'll just take those pieces back, get reimbursed. We'll see. Or it could be one of those things we just do every two years. You just, know what I mean? It might be a good thing to fix some, it. Some people just say to clean it out. Yeah. Oh, my seatbelt's off. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Bye. Well, now, what are you watching on the Disney? What do they call it? The Disney Channel? Disney Plus. Disney Plus. Monsters Inc. Monsters University. I want to touch it. You want to hold the, the
the jingle pillow, the jingle pillow. Play too. You want to play too? Yes, I do. What's going on? I was taking a nap. Oh, uh, hi. I don't know. Hi. Oh, well, that doesn't look fun. <laughs> I don't know what to do that. I just want to say hi to you. So, welcome to my basement. All right, let me introduce you to this. Look at this. See, water is leaking. See? Water. Water's leaking. Because of that situation behind the dryer down there is where the water is leaking out of the thing onto the floor because we think somewhere in this big pipe there is a leak of some kind or a clog and there's lint everywhere down here so obviously it's not going out so John and I are going to see if we can get it to work. I think we need to replace this whole thing. So we bought new stuff. Redo it. Well, there's some good news, some bad news. The good news is we found where the water's coming from, and it wasn't from the dryer. There's a tiny pinhole leak that is barely noticeable in the black piping that comes from the washer. It's like a tiny, tiny link, and I didn't even realize it until I just happened to put my hand over it and I felt kind of like a spray. So I guess when it's draining, spraying out just enough that it collects and then it drips underneath. So the good news is the dryer vent wasn't plugged. It was really dirty and it probably really needed to be cleaned or changed, but John is having a little difficulty with the attachments it's a little frustrated. I need to get a new drain pipe for my washing machine. My good old Maytag. And get this dryer hooked up again. The machines are doing fine. It's just that their appendages have problemos. But that, yeah, that old dryer venting tube was really nasty. It was like all caked and that's a fire hazard. So, you know, you should always check your dryer vents periodically and make sure they're not clogged up. And even though it wasn't clogged all the way through, it had a good inch, half inch ish of lint all the way through. I have to go to Home Depot to uh, pick up a new washing machine, drain pipe, tube, and I'm not sure if I have the right things for my dryer or not, but um, I got to figure it out because I need to use my, I'm not going to hire somebody to stick a vent to my dryer. That seems ridiculous. Do you know how to do it? Can you come and help me? Because I can't figure it out. And I want to do the laundry. Sorry, old girl. We'll get you up and running again soon. I need to go upstairs and wash my hands. They're so dirty. Dutte. At least I know where that water's coming from. Yep, yep, see? There's a little water in the bucket. A drip, see? Look at that. Look at that. I found the water leak. I'm a rock star. Now I just got to fix that can't be that hard so I'm trying to finish a video in conjunction with a GoFundMe account that we've had for about a month now it's to get Daniel a pool wheelchair to use at our community center so putting together a little bit of a video with some pictures of him swimming and an explanation of why we need this specific piece of equipment 
and then I want to link it to the actual fund. Now, uh, the goal is $2,000, and we've already raised, as of today, November 16, uh, we've raised $570 towards the goal, so it's very exciting. So I'd like to, um, I wanted to do this before I even launched it, but you know, sometimes things take a while. <laughs> anyway, I'm working on this video of Daniel in the pool at the our new community center in our town and just love that pool. I just don't have a way to get him into the pool. So that's what this is about. So, ow! Hey, it's Friday. Hiya, friends out there. It is Friday, November 15th. It's um, about quarter of one. I should be going to work in a little while. We just checked my channel a little while ago, and after the whole hijacking incident, I, my subscribers dropped by about 30, and now they're back up again and up to almost 7,770, I think. So that's really good news. <laughs> I'm feeling, um, do you ever have kind of a day where you just, I don't know, you're not negative, but you just feel kind of sad? <laughs> that's me today. I'm just not able to shake it. Things are going okay at the new job. Basically, we finally got to talk, and so that was good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of think I was indirectly fat shamed yesterday. Um, and I'm trying to like, see if I should just roll it away because I'm too sensitive. But it kind of went down like talking to the guy, right? He just opened his office. He has um, me and three other ladies. And then Larry, my old Larry, but he said something like, you know, I just expect everyone to just do things and, you know, bring it to the table, which is great because he basically was kind of informing me that he he values autonomy and people just, you know, taking the lead with whatever they want to do to get more business. But then he said, I have three really very attractive women here and they're going to go out and go to Chamber of Commerce. And at first I thought, he was referring to me, but then he said the other three ladies' names, and I was like, three very attractive ladies who want to go out and do things. And I was sitting there going, well, and then he said, I said, well, maybe he just because they're already doing it, and that's all right. I have my own ideas, but then he said, oh, and you, well, you know, you're, you're a mature, experienced, older woman. <laughs> uh, and I was like, okay, so I'm not... Okay, so yeah, what you're saying is your three very attractive, because they are very attractive, they're, they're all beautiful, like these three ladies in the office, very beautiful. But I was like, well, what are you saying, dude? So you want them to go out, but I'm not beautiful, so I should do mature older lady things? I, I, mean, I wasn't really following what he was saying. I th think he was saying that they're just taking the initiative but I didn't know until we had this conversation what kind of a person he was because he never really took the time. Um, he knew them all from before, so they all know each other. Anyway, it's been a little bit awkward and I'm trying to be a team player, but it's hard when you don't really know what the rules are, right? So I try to be respectful and try to figure it out instead of just kind of being like a cuckoo and just coming in there like a you know firestorm and doing my own thing. So I don't know. I don't know, friends. It's a social experiment is what it is. And I I think that it was a little misogynistic to refer to the other three women as really attractive, you know, women in terms of their job, but maybe that's an important feature for what he wants in his office. So yeah, I'm not sure. That was kind of weird. Anyway, I'm still feeling it out. My, my Larry uh, was like, I don't think he meant it that way. And I'm like, well, then why do you say things, right? So, so yeah, I'm a little overweight and, you know, not a, you know, size two and, and heels, but I'm a pretty smart person. What can I say? <laughs> I'm gonna peek in on Daniel. He had nursing care today. 
he had his vocational worker here. I don't know what to call her, my DDS friend. <laughs> and we had another person come for an interview. So we had kind of a full day. We're gonna, ho hopefully she's gonna start. So we'll have two people and someone coming in the morning. We've got a lot of activities happening. We're getting ready to start decorating for Christmas. Dale's birthday is Friday. The 22nd, he's turning 22 on the 22nd. Dale's birthday, it's Friday. Looking a little wonky there. Look at the lights. So his nurse, Chris, got him a subscription to the new Disney streaming channel. So he's been loving that. And uh, we all have been. We had a good day. He got tired after all his friends came and visited him. We're working on a lot of things and projects. And so I'm going to say good night and check in with you all tomorrow. I'm tired and I have to work tomorrow after going to the doctor. So John's in bed. Dogs are waiting for me. Daniel's asleep. So got to take care of me. Thank you for watching. Good night. something isn't there head towards a new week look at this cat I was this is where I was working on my laptop what are you doing you want to go to bed huh fluffy boy my friend well, don't bite me Okay, see, now he's gonna bite me. <laughs> no, leave me alone. <gasps> what? I'm just trying to be nice to you. You're insane. Hi. Well, what would you think if I gave you a bath? Huh? You want a bath? But I liked it because. Because you're kind of dirty. We went and had flu shots this afternoon. I know it's November 18th. We're a little late, but. Good night, sweetie. Good day today. Good day today. Well, let's go downstairs. Let's go downstairs. Oh, Chloe. Oh, Henry, go down the stairs. That's why we have doggy stairs. Come on, good boy. Gonna have a quiet day, huh? We're gonna have a quiet day. Hey, look at me. I'm going to work for a little while, okay? I'll see you in a couple hours. All right. Happy Tuesday. It's uh, cold. It's September, I mean November. Ah, November 19th. I'm just walking the dogs before I head over to work. And I think we have a training thing at one o'clock. So I'm gonna head over there early. I don't have a desk. Normally until well after two or around two. But I can sit somewhere else or let's go. I'm sticking it out, you know, let's see. Meet my sales quota for the month with the not a lot of time I've been able to put into it. Then when I put a lot of time into it, maybe I'll make some money. So I'm uploading to the channel. I'm doing that too. Christmas is coming and I want to buy Christmas presents. <laughs> so doing our walk in and walk in. Come on, come on, come on. Henry's coat's getting really long. They both probably need to go have a good grooming. <laughs> 